Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. To continue on our series for DevOps for Dynamics 365, in the previous video, we show how to create UI testing and how to run that uh, from the command line or from the Visual Studio. And in this video, we are going to see how to integrate that with Visual Studio Build Automation so we can integrate that with a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. So let's see that. So I will start by uh, adding a test category, a new test its attribute test category and I will put here build automation so I can distinguish between this category then here I will just rebuild my application then in the test explorer then I can see that yes here it just still building yes then I can group them by traits which is I can display here which test under build automation test category. So here now I will let's go here. Uh, my build is configured on this machine as a process, not as a service. So I can run the automation UI. So it's very important to configure the build as a process which is I did that on this machine then I will go for the change and let's see my files here then I will commit my files which including the easy repo and the test category so here this is committing the easy repo UI automation framework so now it's committed to my local repo let's sync that with the remote repo so this will sync with the remote repo so now my code should be on the remote repo on VSTS so what I'm going to do now is just let's take a look on the code to make sure that everything is exist here yes we can see that the easy repo at the top so i will start go for build and start creating a new definition and when i create a new definition i can start from which source yes continue and choose the .NET desktop because this will I need to compile the testing assembly so I will choose dotnet desktop template which has some tasks because I'm going to compile the test assembly so I need the new get package the new get restore because I need to restore all the new get package the visual Studio solution and here this is a task for test assemblies I don't need the publish symbol path it's not needed in our demo this is as well and also publish artifacts so I remove them and for the new get restore as I explained this is for restoring the needed packages for my solution so let me show you what's exactly the needed package if I open my solution and navigate to where it exists open and then getting outside of that where the packages folder so we can see here I have some packages which is added to this framework which is selenium selenium uh, with driver and all that and I need to restore them as a part of the build so let let us get back to the build also we here using the test filter which is I will put the category we can see here we can put the priority let's go for more information and search for cat 
and we can find here the test category so I put the test filter test category and then I can put so I will copy that and get back here and put it here as a filter so it is not nightly but I put my category which is called build automation so close the double quotation and then my my DLL is not test DLL so let me remember what is the name of the DLL if we get back to our project it called UI automation dot sample so this is actually the name of the assembly of the test so I will copy that name including the sample let's copy that and get back to our build process put that name here and also I will remove the test case filter because this will be sent already by the build so now it's test category build automation here run which run my virtual machine Azure which is this machine and let's see the build console now so this will trigger the build on this machine so as we can see here it get the source and start running the test assembly task which is run vs test console exe and sending all the parameters including the dll of the assembly and the test filter as we can see it launch the the chrome automatically and start executing my test um, going the same steps for for the ui automation test going for accounts then navigate from my activity and it's failed here so there is some retrieving which is I need to adjust the test for more waiting time to adjust this time so if we go for the test result here this is a test result I, I can just open that with Visual Studio double click on that and then see the the error here to uh, debugging and understanding the problem of course also I can publish publish test result as a part of the build because now I I access the file from local on because I am on the build machine but I can publish this test result so anyone can download that and investigate about the problem so to make my test passed uh, instead of adjusting the waiting time and adjust all of that I will just comment most of the, the steps and leave just click new and once it reaches click new this will mean that I finish my test so I will comment the rest of the code and then commit this change locally on my repo Yes, commit take part of the UI test. Then syncing that. So when I trigger the build, it will including that. So let's sync the, the last two changes, local changes. So now I have my change on VSTS. So let's trigger a new build. And clicking on Q. this is my virtual machine let's see the output of the build so it is the same just to get the latest which including the, the parts that I commit I, I comment and it will launch it will launch the Chrome now it's launched and start executing the same step till the point which is click new account click accounts this is all, all of that part of the test then click on new now is that my UI test finish no error in this point so the test is paused and everything is working fine 
So now we saw how to configure that with the builder. And if I go for the result, I can see that the test result has one UI test passed and the time for running that as well and everything. So this is how we configure the UI. During the debugging, I had to debug some running the test from command line. So let me show you that. No. Uh, so um, I use this tool, which is vstest.console.exe, and then sending the DLL of the test, then the test case filter, and put the test category, which is build automation. Because at the beginning, I have some issues to run that, so I needed to debug that. And of course, I need to run that from Visual Studio command line, then navigating to where my build working folder, to exactly this place, then start running this command. So, and of course, if I run this command now, it will execute uh, the process and it's working fine. Because at the beginning, when I put the test category filter, I put including the, the name of the filter, which already provided as a part of the process. So this executes the same test. So now even we understand how we can debug the UI test if it is not correctly, then we can go here and debug that. So here, as we can see, the test is passed successfully. So this is how we can use the VSTS build to run automation UI test and also for debugging the error. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching the video. And please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, mohammedradwan.com. Thank you.